Syria in past 24 hours, army pounds strongholds of foreign terrorists and demilitarized zone at Tehran, FNA. The Syrian army destroyed the strongholds of foreign terrorists in the demilitarized zone after repelling their heavy offensives from on northern Hama and southern Idlib. Idlib, Hama the Syrian army units engaged in heavy clashes with the terrorists who had attacked them from El Janabara, Tal Othman and Tal Bazam in northern Hama on Monday, killing and wounding several militants and repulsing their offensive. They also targeted the Turkestani terrorists' positions in the villages of Badama and al Najiya in response to their attacks in western Idlib, smashing several of their strongholds and killing a number of them. Meantime, the Syrian army forces launched missile and artillery strikes against the moves and positions of militants who intended to infiltrate into the army points from the town of Altai in southern Idlib. Several terrorist positions were destroyed and a large number of militants, including one of their ringleaders namely Mokhlez al Awaj, were killed in the attack. Deir Ezer, Hasaka, the Syrian army sent a new convoy to southeastern Deir Ezer, near the border with Iraq, after the U.S. airstrikes and ISIL offensives against their military points. Field sources in eastern Deir Ezer reported on Monday that the convoy which consisted of a large number of forces and military equipment was dispatched from Hama to Deir Ezer. They added that the Syrian army has reinvigorated its positions in Cornish region near the town of El Bakuz in southeastern Deir Ezer, in noting that the measure was adopted after ISIL's recent attack on army points that received U.S. air support. Also in the past 24 hours, a senior commander of the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces surrendered to the Syrian army in eastern Deir Ezer, local sources reported, adding that another SDF commander was also killed in Hasaka province. The sources said on Monday that the commander named Recon defected the SDF in al Salihia region and surrendered himself to the Syrian army along with a military vehicle full of weapons and military equipment. They added that the SDF has put its forces on alert immediately and closed al Salihi passageway. Also, another SDF commander, Namda Gerjera, was killed along with his aide after a bomb was exploded in one of their strongholds in the village of Alsabay in Merkata region of southern Hasaka. The two provinces of Deir Ezer and Raqqa have been the scene of protests and clashes between civilians and SDF fighters over the past three years for the latter's crimes and atrocities. Also on Monday, the U.S. forces stationed in Syria carried out heliborne operations to evacuate the ISIL terrorists from eastern Deir Ezer. Little sources in eastern Deir Ezer reported that the U.S.-led coalition transferred a group of ISIL members from the town of Swed and Jazeera by military helicopters. They added that the group consisted of four terrorists and one Syrian national, in noting that they were senior members of the group. The sources said that tens of ISIL militants have been able to leave eastern Deir Ezer after paying huge amounts of money to commanders of the Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF. Other reports also revealed ISIL's secret talks with the U.S. forces in eastern Deir Ezer with the aim of reopening ways to leave their last occupied regions in the province. Eastern Euphrates More than 1,100 trucks carrying U.S.-made weapons and military equipment have been dispatched to the eastern Euphrates region since President Trump declared his decision to withdraw forces from Syria. The London-based Syrian Observatory of Human Rights, SOAR, reported on Sunday that despite U.S. President Donald Trump's announcement on December 19 to evacuate forces from Syria, the U.S. Army continues sending military convoys to eastern Euphrates. It added that over 1,130 convoys, carrying military and logistic equipment have been dispatched to the U.S.-occupied bases in eastern Euphrates since Trump's declaration.